Hi folks and welcome back. Even if this is your first time, welcome back. That's just how welcoming I am. Uh, in the previous episode, at the end of it, there was something I meant to do and I forgot to do. And so let's deal with that right away before I forget again, because I'm a forgetful kind of guy. All right, we were working through our stack of barrels here to make some leather and we gotten up to soaking all the lime water out of our hides here. So we have these medium prepared hides now. And so we come up here and we have maple barrel. Oh, the barrel. Okay. We have a barrel of tan in here. See? Tannin. So throw them in there to tan. And what's the, what's the time on? 1716. Okay. And so I, th I believe it takes eight hours. Okay. So now I have a little bit of a problem. Uh, in the previous episode, we built ourselves this lovely little pen up there. You can see it in the distance. Hi, Pen. Um, and uh, we'd love to put some animals in it. <clears throat> now, the best way to lead animals around is with a lead. And for that, we need... Uh, I always want to call it hemp, but it's not hemp. Jute. Yeah, that's what it's called in the game. Jute. Um, now, when I was wandering around... This is the area. Let's zoom out a bit. This is the area I've explored and didn't find any jute. Didn't run across any. Um, so normally what I would do then is say, well, let's go and explore some of these other areas that we haven't been to yet and, and let those chunks pop in and maybe it'll spawn some jute. However, it's winter time and crops don't spawn in winter time. And I'm pretty sure that means even when you go into a new chunk, you don't get, you don't get the automatically spawn crops. So we wouldn't find any jute anyway, not until spring. <clears throat> so jute is out of the picture. The other way of, uh, of trying to get animals to come with you is by leading them, holding grain in your hand while you walk along. So I got some grain here. And so ta-da, whoops, didn't mean to do that. And... So, you know, fine, I can, I can do that, but that's much more tedious. So we don't want to do that over a long distance. Um, so I would like to do it just, you know, get my animals from as near as possible. However, if we look at, let's get here again. Okay, here we go. Uh, the only animals I recorded are goats. And I'm not, like, th these are animals that we can actually uh, tame and raise and, and that sort of stuff. I mean, there's deer, we've seen deer and we've seen pheasant, and those things can't be, uh, can't be raised, can't be farmed. But uh, I don't know if goats really, I'm pretty sure I ran into something else, but maybe not. But that's the only one that we recorded. So that, that if we have to, we can do goats. In fact, I think goats would be interesting to do because... I I have never done them before, and I'm deliberately not looking them up in the wiki, so I can be surprised. But I, th if if they did it right, then you should be able to get both milk and uh, and wool from goats. <clears throat> but in any case, um, so I want to stick close to home, whatever I'm going to do. And so. What I want to do is I want to very carefully search this area that I've already explored. You know, like I've just gone through it kind of willy-nilly every now and then. And just see, because maybe there is some jute in here somewhere. Maybe there are some other animals here like sheep or cows or chickens or stuff like that. Probably not chickens, given this in biome. But so I want to go through this very carefully. Now it's going to be pretty tedious so what oh the other the other thing it's also going to be dangerous because there are still lots of predators out there so what i'm going to do is wait until this leather is done so i can make some leather armor so i have at least a little bit of protection and then i'm going to go and very carefully kind of just scan back and forth in a kind of a grid pattern um to find everything out there that i haven't found so far and that would, that's going to be tedious for me. It doesn't need to be tedious for you. So I'll bring you in on the exciting bits, which are mostly going to be me getting killed by the predators. So um, w without further ado, while 
it, since it's going to take it eight hours on, on this guy here, I'm going to go do a few other chores while we wait. See, I'll bring you back in in a bit. Bye. Okay, well, it's not quite there yet. What time is it? Ah, uh, <laughs> it just turned 0118. How much you want to bet it's now ready? Ta-da! There we go. Perfect timing, man. All right. <clears throat> Grab that leather out. Oh, and you can see in my inventory, I made myself a bit of bread for the journey. Cornbread. Oh, but I used the green that was in my hand. So before I forget, let me put that away. Let's just grab a bit more green. Just so, just make sure we have it. Okay, um, leather. Uh, first thing we want to do, I guess, is make a leather tunic. I think it's like that. Yep. Okay. Uh, leather pants. Straightforward. Leather shoes. Ah, I just ruined it. Um... Oh, as, as you can see, leather working is done uh, using a, an interface very similar to the uh, uh, napping interface. I believe you have to have a knife in your uh, inventory in order to uh, be able to do it. And the cap. that. Alright, let's put this stuff on. I don't know how much protection it's going to give me, but at least it's some. Yeah, see? Some protection. <coughs> Alright. Oh, and I do want to take... Oh, I don't have the leather with me. I do want to take my uh, javelins. And let's just... Uh, Get all watered up before we go. And I guess I can... When does this expire? 16 days. That's plenty of time. Okay. And off we go. Uh, of course it's night and it's snowing. I mean, this is going to take me several in-game days, so some of it's going to take place during night. I just hope... <laughs> I just hope the exciting bits take place during day so that you can see them. Okay, so I will bring you in when there is something uh, of interest to see. Ah, I see our first victim. Uh, hopefully he's the victim and not me. Hmm. How do I get over to him? Or to put a little more, uh, perhaps more. Pointedly, how do I get over to him without him killing me in the process? Okay, so he was hanging out on the side of this. Yeah, so he's up there. see him right, he does not appear to have seen me yet can I get close enough to him to get him with a couple of javelins there we go 
That was one. Uh, whoops. Got my sword in the wrong slot here. That'll get me killed. javelin here. Let's see if that takes finishes them off. Oh, it did. <laughs> All right. Cool. All right. Uh, now I gotta get down to him. I prefer not to take the same road he did. Okay, good. Did I get both my javelins back? Or just one? Looks like just one. The other one must have despawned while I was creeping over. Well, that's one of the uh, one of the baddies taken care of. I'll bring you back when I have something else to see to show you. Uh, I see a saber tooth over there. Oh, God! I see two saber tooths. Okay. How to approach them. I guess I shouldn't be too surprised that there are two, since they do, the predators do spawn in pairs. Not quite. Okay, that's one down. Right, let's get back here before tackling the second one. Okay. Now, where was the second one? I could see him from over here. Oh, he's way over there. Okay. Ah, good, I knocked him off. You gonna come up? You gonna come after me? Hmm? Hmm? Yeah? Yeah? did manage to get a shot in at me, though. Ah, okay. All right. Now let's return to our regular scheduled broadcast. I was somewhere over here. Explorating. And how about that? Both those kills took place while it was light out. Son of a gun. Okay, well... The excitement's over for now. Bring you back in when something else happens. Oh, here's something over here. Be careful, there's nothing that's going to kill me. So I see some seeds just floating here, and they are 
soybean seed. So that's an example of a crop that I either missed or that spawned probably during the summer after I'd last been through here. And uh, then the winter, the winter makes it pop, the seeds pop out of the ground like that. I think we've already got some soybeans, but still more are always better. More is better. That's the uh, mantra of capitalism. Actually, I guess the mantra of capitalism is more is always better for the rich. The poor must make do with what they have. Ah, here's another little thing. See, another little gem that I missed. This is this is working out well. I'm not finding any animals. I'm not finding any jute, but hey, I'm finding other things. Another berry bush for our farm, and it is a strawberry. I don't no, we don't have strawberries yet, so that's new. Neat. And and the big cavern that I don't want to fall down. That's uh that's one very Christian oak tree. The most annoying part of doing something like this, where you're like trying to scan all, like investigate all the terrain carefully, is the mountains. And you really do need to climb them because that's one of the environments where sheep hang out. And so you might be passing up on some of their lovely, lovely wool you don't go up there. Unfortunately, it also seems to be a place where a lot of the big cats hang out. Well, 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 look at what we have here. Is this the tree I found before? I don't recall. Well, I can check in a minute, but let's just see what we've got on it. Red apples. Nice. In a moment. <clears throat> Somewhere in here I have the uh No no it was oh that's right, it was a lemon tree I found before. Well, wow, very nice. Okay, let's uh let's mark this in. We'll grab ourselves a uh, a cutting. There we go, sapling. That's the word I was looking for. All right. See, turn up all sorts of great stuff. Not stuff we're looking for, but all sorts of stuff. There's a goat over there. Oops. Yeah, yeah. I saw you. Let's see if I can... Uh There's another one. Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Okay. All right. 
I'm going to have to go back home and heal up. <laughs> Let's have some fruit. That'll help a tiny bit. All right, so I'm going to head back to uh, head back to home and heal up before coming back out here. So I should mark where I left off. Um, okay, I'll uh, I'll bring you guys when I'm back on the back on the trail again. Okay, well, I healed up. It took a full day or so. And now I'm back to where I left off, and the cat is actually closer now. Yeah, he's moving around down there. Don't think I can get him from that angle. Uh-oh. Alright, alright. Don't you sink those wretched teeth. Ah, you got me once. Man, do they ever hit hard. Bears hit even harder, though. Man. <laughs> okay. Well, we can continue for a little longer until we have to go back and heal up again. Is that, a, is that a sheep or a goat? Oh, it's a goat. Okay. Anyway. Whew. So hopefully there are no more in the immediate area. <sighs> okay, let's see if, uh, if the goats can at least be led. By green. Where is he? No, nope. doesn't seem to be interested. That bodes ill. Oh, wait a minute, maybe he is. Oh yeah, just had to get his attention, that was all. Okay, good. Yeah, so they can be led, which almost certainly means that they can be bred as well. So, Whew. that'll be good. Uh, where do I want to head from here? I'm heading north. But not yet. First, we have to finish looking around. And get rid of all the dangerous critters that might attack us as we try and lead the goats back. Rabbit just dump, jumped to his death. Oh, I guess it's Hoss and Pfeffer for dinner. Oh, this is another fruit tree here. Let's find out what kind. Our orchard's getting bigger. Oh, a green apple. Ah, we're all ready for Christmas. We have red apples and green apples. Well, let's go uh, beard the lion in his den. He's not exactly a lion, but we must nonetheless beard him. Yeah, where's the other one? That's the question. Oh, it's a horse. <laughs> I saw a black shape moving. I thought it was a panther. It's the last I knew, it was a pair of panthers on top of it. Okay. OK, 
Okay, so he's over there in the water. That's a good place for him to be. And I have a little present for you. Got you first time. Twice. Excellent. Let's see if I can keep you in the water. Beauty. Almost like I planned it. And I get my two javelins back. Okay, where's his mate? That's the question. It's the question of the hour. I think I did previously kill at least one, but I'm not going to assume it was this one. <laughs> You know what they say about assume? It turns you into saber to tiger dinner. Oh, rabbit. Rabbits are scared of me, and I'm scared of rabbits. Oh my god. That's like a sheep. That's not a goat. That is a sheep. Careful, my knife. Don't get too excited. Your viewers won't recognize you if you get excited. Yep, sheep. Awesome. Okay. Although I still want to try out the goats first because potentially the goats give us both milk and... All right. All right. Let's, let's mark this. Uh, animacules. This is the one. B... Aqua. Sheep. All right. We actually found something we were looking for. <laughs> uh, take that, Iron God. Let's explore down here. Yeah. Yeah, this is my spawn area. still possible there's something here though because it could have sprung up later <laughs> speaking of which did I really never notice this this is I was not expecting to find this at all this is hematite which is an iron ore which is going to be as you might think rather convenient when we try and move into the iron age um, I wasn't expecting to find it because Typically, the areas in which you find copper, the types of rock where you find copper, are not the same ones that you find iron in, and vice versa, obviously. So I was expecting we'd have to go like way far away to find any uh, to find any iron ores. But let's get this marked here. Very nice. Well, this is a uh, was unexpected, but wasn't what we we're looking for but it's almost better <laughs> well that's a duck oh okay I can oh, another one over here but found another berry bush sweet uh, four days four days six days Let's see, can we lead ducks? Let's find out. Do ducks, will ducks be led? Hmm, looks like. Huh, I wonder if that means I can breed them. You know something, I haven't actually checked to see whether pheasants are attracted to grain. Let's find out. doesn't appear to be. Nope. Right. That makes sense. I didn't think they were. They could be tamed.
Oh, this is interesting. This is another fruit tree, but it has a gray, has gray bark. Huh. Never seen that before. It might just be a lighting fluke, actually, now that I think about it. We'll see. Or maybe that's supposed to represent a dead tree. Hmm. All right. Well, I don't want to take any more off of it. Um, I'll just I'll just flag it, and then come back in the summer. And. Uh, Come back in the summer and see if if it gets rejuvenated by the warm weather or something. Whoops! Oh shit! Two? Are there two? Well, there's bound to be two, but is that okay? Let's see if I can get a. Uh... Wait. No, neither of those worked. Okay. That means face to face. One down with no injury to myself. Where's the mate? Let's get my two uh, javelins back. Okay. I'm going to have a ton of meat to fry up once I get home. Oh, and I'm low on water. That was good. That meant I wouldn't, wouldn't have been able to run away. Something I always forget to keep an eye on. Oh, there's a saber tooth. Nope, too low. Got him. Okay, now as long as his partner isn't nearby. Paramore, who does have a heart condition, just gave me the finger for that. Oh, another goat. Another couple of goats. Three goats. So oh, I should definitely flag this then. tell the difference between the males and the females and the goats. Is it by the horns? So this guy's got some horns. Horns. Ah, I see. The females have much stubbier horns. Okay. Alright. Okay, so that's far enough, I think. I'm going to go home and unload, and then we'll come back out and try and lure those goats in. 
Now, in theory, I should have nothing to fear on my way home. Because it should all have been, I should already have dealt with it all. Right? Except there was that one singleton panther and the singleton saber tooth who could still have mates floating around. further south. There we go. Okay, so assuming I don't get mauled to death, I'll, uh, I'll meet you back at the house. Okay, well, we managed to get safely back. Okay, let's do, I need to do a little bit of, um, whatchamacallit. Uh, maintenance here. Housekeeping, that's the word I was looking for. So I'll uh, quickly get this out of the way and then we'll go do deal with our goats. Now with all that out of the way, we can head over to the goats and see if we can lure a few of them back. Um, yeah, I've got the pen over there. Let's get into goat radar. There it is. Well, these are the nearest ones, so let's start with them. I'll bring you back when I get there. All right. So there's one goat up there. Once I get them together, what's my best way of getting them back? That's the question. There were a couple of crevasses on the way over here. I think maybe, well, I don't know with the ice. It's going to say take them down and swim back. The alternative would be to go due north. Yeah. I think I'm going to try the swim, see if that works. Now we get to find out if goats swim. <coughs> so where are your friends, Mr. McGoat? It's really your buddies you should be calling to. <laughs> is that another goat? Yeah, that is another goat. He's got big horns. You've got little horns. Perfect. All right. So it's off to the ocean we go. Except not that ocean. I want to go west. All right, guys. Let's see. Let's see if we can get you down to the water. Still both with me? Yep, okay. If you've never done it, when you're leading them this way, 
You can't get too far ahead of them or they lose interest. And you can't put anything else into your hand. Like I can't switch to a weapon or, f or feed myself or anything like that because then they'll lose interest. And if they lose interest, man, they're loud. If they lose interest, then they won't immediately regain it for a while. There's a cooldown period. Okay. Oh, there's another goat over there. I might as well pick him up while we're at it, eh? I believe I have a way down over here. I mean, I mean you guys are goats. You should be able to get down, right? down. Excellent. Let's go find your friend now. There we go. Another male. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Let's go for a walk, guys. And gal. swim. You do. Excellent. Well, folks, as you can see, it's a new day. And we're just getting there. And I've still got my three goats in tow. It was an uneventful swim. A little brisk, perhaps. And now, to see if we can get them into the pen. Oh, did I lose one? Nope. This is what this berm is for. Just to give them a way up. And in. Come on, last guy. Yes. All right. Here's your reward, guys. Oh. There we go. Fed them all. <sighs> Whew, at last. So I have to do that for a few more days. <laughs> Feed them every day. And then they'll allow me to do things like, well, if they do milk, milk them. I mean, I see little udders on them, so I'm guessing I can milk them. But will they give me wool too? That would be awesome. <laughs> anyway, there we go. So, I'm now exhausted, like, like in real life exhausted. <laughs> I mean, killing all those panthers and those saber tooths. Good God. Is that all it was? There's saber, saber tooths and panthers. There's nothing else. I guess, well, it's enough. Yeah, I guess it's possible to get lions, but there aren't any in this biome. So, all right. Uh, we're going to, like I say, we're going to call it there. Um, I'll need to pop out every morning and feed them. Actually, I should look at the time since I think it works on like a basically a 24-hour thing 10 30 in the morning okay that's pretty good 
And then in a few days, I'll be able to uh, try to milk them, I guess. I we don't have anything to clip their fur with. We can't do that until we get to iron, and that'll probably be the next thing we work on, since we now know we have some iron handy. So I hope you had fun, or if not fun, at least enjoyed watching me frantically beat away at the uh, things trying to kill me. And I hope to see you back next time.